Good afternoon, good, good afternoon, good afternoon. It is Sunday afternoon, 4.47 p.m. I got an hour that I can spend doing this. But um, let me show you, um, let me show you what I, what I need to do here. My buddy here, Rajesh, uh, Rajesh asked me a while back, a month ago, if I could do an audit trail uh, for if someone were to update or delete or whatever the case may be, we would mark it. All right. That way we can look up and see who's been updating, who's been deleting, who's been doing whatever. All right. So. And I say, well, this is a great suggestion. This is this is uh, this is very easy to do. <laughs> and that's when my laptop went dead <laughs> a month ago. <laughs> so now I am in. I am back in business. I am back in business. I'm gonna close this down. I'm gonna show you how I can do this. It shouldn't be too big a deal. All right, it shouldn't be too big a deal. Um. Obviously, I don't have a whole lot there. You see how I've got, I have to rearrange these guys a couple times. That is the, the uh, Windows uh, operating system. This is also a Windows operating system. You notice they look the same. <laughs> so what happened here, two weeks ago, uh, I decided to, um, to clone, to clone this um, this drive that I have sitting around with 500G. This one was working, so I cloned this one from this guy. Clone this one from this guy, and um, and now I'm looking at it. I've been storing my videos and pictures and the work right here in the D E drive. You see there, all right. However, however, it's gonna run out pretty soon. So, so I'm going to make this guy. I'm gonna reformat this guy. But before I do that, I want to clone this guy too. And I ordered a drive, 500G drive. It's on its way in two days. It's gonna get here. So I'm gonna clone that one. I'm gonna reformat this one and use this one to to store my videos, my YouTube work. That's what I'm doing. That way I don't keep losing stuff. <laughs> I have another drive that has pictures, pictures only, images. Uh, it's not plugged in right now. It's sitting out externally. But these guys are these guys are internal. This guy will be internal when it gets here. So currently it's external. So this guy will be internal. Actually, these two guys will be internal. That will be external. Anyways, all right. Let's get back to our program. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to mention it. You know. So you see, I've lost a whole bunch of stuff. I have got. A whole bunch that I lost. Just like the CMS, I don't see in CMS is gone. That was that that happened two years ago when my when my laptop gets crashed. Anyway, uh, my hard disk. Anyways, we're gonna go in here, and um, you see that that's that's not even the last one. I finished the whole thing. I think the last one is like. 32, 33, something like that. Anyways, we're gonna grab this guy and use that to uh, to do our audit. Uh, let's see, how about record audit? How about record audit? I think that sounds good. Uh, I like the trail as well, but record audit. Let's open this guy up. See there, we got to enable that. So, I basically have an idea of what to do here. You just need a table, 
all right oops i'm gonna change that hold on change it to a design view we're gonna need a table let's call this a record audit id we're gonna use string we're gonna need an employee who is making a change or yeah who's making changes um how about the audit type what is it yeah kind of kind of have this thing in mind already and we need to know the form name where is it coming from on what form that is being updated and we also need to know the edit date obviously these are recording items you would not want to you would not want to to modify this guy that's why you don't have updated date we only we only gonna add all right we only gonna add so let's save that let's call this uh record audit yeah i do this quite a bit uh with the uh with where i work <laughs> the application that wait for the for work that way i can keep track of the uh, employees making changes anyways let's open one of these guys the back end first thing that i'm going to do is to create a module with that table name record audit like so now i'm going to flip to the front it shouldn't be too bad because all we all we are, all we are interested in is to uh, to uh, add so let's create a audit create this object i'm going to copy that copy then paste it's right there change this guy to uh what is it it's been so long it's been two years i think since i opened this guy first time in two years open this application so this is db with db access let's call with db access oops get grid all right let's go and save that let's flip to the uh, right side copy that we are going to make a module for this guy call this record audit shouldn't be too bad like i said oh conflict yeah you're right we got db access record audit oops db access that's all we need all right uh well maybe one more thing how about let's add another let's add the constant all right let's add the constant how about record audit type record audit type public oops didn't know how to spell uh constant <clears throat> let's call this add a string equals add i'm gonna copy that we're gonna add two more copy this one is delete update looks good now if you want to add more uh audit type you can do that for example uh uh, item completed all right so we can do that you know what is and yeah let's add that completed complete um i'm gonna save that one more thing as i'm doing this <clears throat> as i'm doing this i'm still thinking you know my brain ding, 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 ding. <laughs> uh record audit let's open this guy up i'm thinking what if 
what if we add uh, comment? Just in case, we want to add comment. Well, you figure it out. Whatever you want to add in there, all right? I'm just going to do this. Now, if you want to add comment, you want to record anything in here, you can just add the fields. All right, I'm going to keep it simple for now, which is good thing. But before we continue, let's make sure let's let's I want to take a look at this. Um, let's make sure that we can run this application. <laughs> it has been so long. <laughs> All right, so it starts up. Uh, you know what? I don't know cuz I've been using I've been using the um, what is it? encryption so, but I don't know if this guy has encryption or not. Let's double check. We're going to look at the password. No encryption. You see that? My password. No encryption. So, all right. So, we're going to stick with that. We're going to stick with that. I'm going to close that out. This guy is being used. I'm going to copy that password. <laughs> yeah, this is, wow. This application has been there for a long time let's uh, maximize this guy's login we're gonna log in with this guy Jack takes that guy in there Ooh. all right so we got this guy nothing there um, we've got activities here see Joey I cannot edit because it's not mine you see there it's not complete but I cannot edit uh, that's in so way how about mine that one's complete I cannot edit because it's complete let's check it this one is editable 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 so so I can edit this guy let's let's see if I can save that Perfect. That's what we want to do it. <laughs> That's what we want to do it. So, yeah, let's do that. This is activity form. So I'm going to flip this guy back. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can go to the code behind here. And go to code behind the activity here. Um, basically, what you need to do here. Let's think this together. Let's think about it together. So I'm looking at the three functions there, the three subroutine there. Save, add new, and delete, and edit four. See there? So you are interested in, yeah, you are interested in the add new, delete, or edit. You are in, interested in this guy, in these three guys. Um, you know what? Let's try this. If it doesn't work, we can revert back as a record audit. And then, right here, right here, as soon as you click this guy, as soon as you click that guy, Um, yeah, as soon as you click that guy, let's see if we can do this. We're going to say set new record audit. And then we're going to set audit type to uh, record audit constant. Ooh, what happened? Hold on. What happened? Did we, uh, I thought we created an audit. Uh, record audit. Oh, for record audit type. So, let me grab that guy. It's called record audit type. There. This would be add new. 
Right, I see that little, little thing there. Let's let's change this guy. Let's change this guy. I know this is complete right here. See there? Let's change that to capital. Save. Alright. Alright. So now I'm just going to copy this guy. Copy. So anytime you're making changes. Alright. That's add. And here is the. Uh, delete. You see there. This should be nice and simple. I mean in your, in your code. And this one is going to be edit. Update. All we need to have. That's all we need to have. Now I wonder uh, when we sign in. I want to double check on one thing. Like I said, it's been so long. I want to take a look at this guy. Okay. All right. We have this guy. Good. That is global. That means when you log in, that you can use this guy throughout. All right. So. Uh, so that's good. <clears throat> now. When you save, when you save, I think it's right here. So now we're going to say if record save, then, uh, then O record audit employee equals all employee like so and I'm just gonna copy this guy copy um what's the next one form name equals me me name uh the added date now <laughs> that's all <laughs> And now all we have to do is <clears throat> do this. We're gonna do DB access save. Um, I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need because this guy right here is bullying. You see that? It's bullying. All right. So, oops. So I'm gonna need to put that guy in there and I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say uh, save audit D a B boolean save audit as boolean and then I'm gonna say B save boo save audit equals that's it that's all <laughs> that is too simple <laughs> yep so if you code it right you can modify your code pretty nice and easy see there 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 and there all right and there uh, so let's test this out uh, before I test what I want to do is um, I want to close this guy close this guy I want to I want to make sure that the uh, employee is logged in correctly all right I'm going to copy this email address email uh, I'm going to copy the password again and main navigation log in there paste um what happened did I do it too many times paste uh oh what happened Try that again. Now try that again. Minimize that. Did I not copy it? 
copy it's actually a little little j when you're gone let's try that let's try that that's better all right we're going to add activities actually we're going to modify this guy all i'm going to do is yeah, let's let's save it. Let's save it. Okay. So did it save in our uh, audit record here? Da ta ta. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. And if look at that. Look at the date. Look at the date. That's today's date. Just now. All right. Let's continue. I'm gonna add. See if the ad works. Well, it should work. If one works, it all should work. All right. I'm going to add activity. Um, yeah, I'm going email. I'm going to select the project. All right. Uh, customer. Uh, confirm. The. Confirm to go ahead with the project all right actually you know what this is add new yeah that's fine yep that's fine so i'm going to save this guy look at that it added there how about does it show up here yes it does right there you see there yes it does so show up there and it also shows them oh everything's still working that's pretty good that's pretty good so now we can say uh, we can look at this guy open it up there you go add new so that's how you do it that's how you do it now if you don't know this guy you just add a query to find out who that person is all you do is, um, all you do is uh, add employee. Oops. Add employee. Add record audit. And then you can say add date. Um, I'm gonna type in this guy right here. Say employee name, first name, space, last name. And then I'm gonna say audit type, form name. And that should be good. That's all we have. All right, so I'm gonna save this guy. Save, worry, record, audit. Now, if we click on the record audit, we should see record audit right down here somewhere. Look at that. So I made changes to that guy. Form activity. All right, form activity. Now, if you want to add more items in there. You can, okay? More items in there, you can. Um, um, for example, for example, I'm gonna show you for example, in this video a little short, I'm gonna add more stuff in here. We can say reference. All right. Uh, I'm going to move reference up a little bit. Right there. Save. And also, I'm going to copy that name reference. Go to the back end and modify the uh, class. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ah, that guy is string. That should have been date and time. 
Did it not do a date and time for us? Oops. I thought we asked it to uh, do a date and time. Uh, not date time. No wonder. All right, I'm gonna save that. We need to change this guy to date and time. Okay, date. So when uh, when I saw this, I say, oh, what the heck? So I'm gonna do as actually yes there as string private as date and then come over here change that to date change that to date and we need to add one more property and this guy this guy is called reference so I'm gonna copy this reference Put it there at the S there and last last one gotta change this one date serial matter of fact at, at the date we can say it now all right and then we're gonna say find stay in order here so all right let's go to our activity our activity there so we know it's activity and activity has what let's take a look activity has what uh, let's double check on the save display record save right here um we can say activity id or you can put activity note yep i think we can do that we can use um uh, we could use the um um activity i a note all right just for example I'm going to show you so here we can say oh record audit uh, reference oops reference equals O oh, activity activity note like so so that will be uh, that will be yeah you know what let's change that to project so with that I'm gonna grab this guy copy I can say um, project oops Grab that column one. That would be the name. Column zero always an ID. All right, like this guy. All right, column one is the next column, which is the name. All right. So that's how I code. I remember how I code. That's how. So for you guys, you need to uh, double check on those guys. All right. But that's it. <laughs> all right. Let's try that again. Try that again. I'm gonna close this out. We still have this guy, and we did not break anything. So which is good. So this is the one. Uh oh. It was complete. Uh it was complete. Well, we can update this guy. Alright. Yeah, we can update that guy. New project is coming. We can put um uh got it call from client he is speaking to his team regarding the project yeah that's good all right so let's save let's take a look 
we should get something here. I'm going to uh, modify the oops. I'm going to modify the query. This guy and add the reference. Reference there. Save. And let's look. Ah, it didn't add. Oh, I know why. We forgot to modify one thing. So, so when we add the reference to this guy, we forgot to update this guy. All right, so let's update this guy. <laughs> yep, sorry about that. Um, gonna copy this guy. Copy reference. Reference equals forgot to update this guy. No wonder. Yes, yeah. If you're quick and fast, you you should be able to take uh, your recognize the stuff. All right, let's go. Oh, yes. Uh, reference. Like so. I think that's good right there. Let's try again. Let's go make changes there. Let's edit. Save. Save that. There you go. So that's how you do it. Here is update, add, update. So we've done four four times. All right. Um, to add new, uh, like it said, to add new and reference. So this is how you uh, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. It's not that big a deal. It's real simple. All right. Once you grasp the logic, just like when I came in here and took a look at the code, I said, oh, that one's, you know. You can just once it's saved, you say okay. If it's saved, then we want to do this, All right? We want to do it now. Likewise, if you want to delete, for instance, for instance, I'm going to I'm going to uh, copy this guy to delete. When you delete, you do this. Cancel. Delete right here. See there. When you delete, you want to do this. Just add that bit right there. Save. And let's go delete it. Delete. Are you sure? Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's add that guy in there. We got this guy. So save. Let's continue. There. So now it's gone. You see there. We add that. Thank within, you for watching. Uh, the one that we I added. I hope you enjoyed the gone. video. So Please if you subscribe, take a look at this, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below. And if you delete. need help, inbox me. There. Thanks again. So that's how you do it. Nice and simple. There you have it. Happy programming.